Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day. As always, as usual, as you know. So, I don't know. I thought, fuck it, I'll just make a video. I gotta go to work later and, uh, you know, make a video because when you're a YouTuber or you wanna be, well, I have to make videos. So, I'm actually kinda going back, throwback Thursday, even though it's not Thursday. Excuse me. Um,. <laughs> like, I'm going back to Lance from the Surfs when he went on Temple. Gets pretty contentious, pretty heated, talking about abortion, and you know how I like to get all contentious. So that's the plan today. This like everyone made videos about this. I missed out on it. So fuck it. I got some time, and I figured I'd just go back and have a little commentary on this uh, back and forth between Lance of the Surfs and Tim. And I was going to do a video on fucking Sam Cedar claiming that Tim got owned, which is ridiculous, and fuck that dude. I've, like, had so many opportunities where I was going to make a video on Sam Cedar, but I'm like, nah, fuck it, it's too ridiculous. But I'm not even doing it. I'm just going to go straight to the horse's mouth. Go to Tim Cast. You guys remember this? Make this it was Remove it, but kill it. A fucking... Right? I don't even There's think they no went reason. through the Super Chats. I think... Maybe they did. I don't know. I don't know. And to do that, there's no. You can give the baby up for adoption. You can drop the baby off on the, on the doorstep of a I, post office. I agree with you. I'm so, not. I'm not. I'm not so why that. legalize? Even if it's one, one. Why legalize? You see, this is the craziest because thing. Because her autonomy should not be cut off based on your morality. Because you don't think that idea is good. You don't like but it. But the baby that's, that's not from where her we should body. determine it. Well, that's that's if it was removed from her body and it was still viable. Right, and that's where the baby guillotines come in because I don't think this happens. I don't think women on the ninth the month get guillotines? abortions with what? viable living children and then be like, I don't want it, kill it. I don't think that happens. You, I mean, you don't have. Well, to it does happen, and like you don't really care what the excuse is. The point is, is that this is a a child that could, I mean, not die, could be survive. Like, why kill it? Why kill the child? But we deal with evil people. And it's just, okay. All right, we'll this faggot have the floor today. I think it happens, but statistically it does. Because your entire argument is this only happens for reasons of the health of the mother or the health of the no, unborn no, I child. Said, I, I said, so you, I said, but even then, if it's the health of the mother and the child could be, like, C-sectioned out, then why kill the kid? It just seems arbitrary. Do you understand? You understand. You, I'm sure you listen to me, you probably agree with, like, Tim and fucking I have a show who, that at the ninth month Seamus is like he doesn't believe in abortion in any circumstance like he is a Catholic conservative like a real Catholic not like a Joe Biden Catholic Joe Biden's administration decided the US Embassy at the Vatican is gonna fly the pride flag this month he's like yeah of course why the fuck wouldn't he what a great Catholic but Seamus is a real Catholic and he's just, yeah woman is going to have an abortion it's tr typically i remember this he tried to like stay out because he didn't want to feel like this dude is getting dogpiled obviously this guy and i respect that he's a leftist and he's coming into the hornet's nest right he's coming into temp cast and he knows he's gonna make some unpopular retarded arguments and he does but seamus is like nice like he's like look i don't want to dogpile too much i don't want you to feel like everyone is arguing against you so throughout this podcast he's mainly quiet but there's a couple here's a moment because where it's a medical like, complication that could either endanger her or the child's life and what well, i'm well, saying is there me, are doctors who will and i really do that. appreciate that like most leftists will not come on Timcast. they will because most leftists won't debate you because they have nothing to say their arguments don't make sense they don't hold up to scrutiny they're illogical <laughs> fallacy ridden what will continue by saying the medical exhibit a is she is depressed Lance that is literally one of the reasons sure, sure, sure. given in that, surveys of and another reason that is yes, given yes, is yes, that yes, i know a man who i was going to be with okay okay but seamus i gotta stop you because this is a nebulous argument that doesn't get anywhere and and i can respect the point that uh if if you go to uh, a left if you try and look this up you're going to find left-wing uh, uh, sources and right-wing sources that will contradict each other so my question is strictly on the legality of terminating the life of a child we, 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 yeah, we, but they argue it's not a child, it's a clump of cells, and it's dog shit, and these people are evil, Tim. And you know this. You know this. We all know this. It's interesting hearing the enemy. This is actually a really great podcast. Like, 
I really enjoy like when a friend of Sam Cedar came on. Tim says he absolutely will not have Sam Cedar on, and I can understand why. For the same reason, I don't make videos on him. I'm just like, this is such a joke. <laughs> such a clown. I've thought about it, though. But yeah, dude, I really do respect, though, when these people come on and make their debates. Because they it, it's illuminating. It really is. It says a lot. Like, And it's a shame that they're too cowardly to come out and like speak publicly to Tim or about this shit. But I do give them credit when they do. Like, I hate these people. Don't get me wrong. But at least they'll debate. They'll come out and make their arguments. So I do appreciate that from Lance here. Even though he gets totally wrecked and comes across as immoral, amoral. Like, yeah. I can sit here and pull up, oh, hey, here's one. Women uh, abort Down syndrome babies late term rather frequently. I think that's yeah. wrong. I don't think that someone's life is forfeit because they have Down syndrome. But if your argument is that they do. I no, it's not. That, 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 that's a strong no, 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 no. You, your argument is that women have a right to terminate a baby for any reason at any point yes it, it, they right. should have the bodily autonomy so, so yes Tim was correct see how they try to walk this line <laughs> like these people have no morals right whatever's convenient and this is like the most like literal case of it to make that decision so what I'm yes. saying is in the circumstance of Down syndrome I think it is wrong to terminate a baby's life at nine months simply for having Down syndrome but you would agree she is legally allowed to do so I, I think she should be legally allowed to do so whether or not I think that's a good idea okay, is so wrong. point made point taken take that acknowledge that well, then there's the clarification I think yeah. it should be illegal okay I don't I think so, so there are limits to how much bodily autonomy women should have so yes yeah. right uh, so, that's, so okay so that's your sense the pro-choice argument because you're pro-abortion right Sure. Pro, pro choice and I, and I like how he made the distinction there pro choice versus pro abortion I don't know man I'm kind of on the anti abortion camp at this point but I used to be like pro choice like Tim I get it like rare, rare legal and <laughs> yeah it's like no I don't know these people have gone full nut job and <laughs> talking about the dude joked about baby guillotines but I'm not joking that's what I look at as late-term abortion, and that shit is evil. Like, go to Colorado or California, you can get that shit done, dude. Like, for serious, you can. To me, that is just fucking evil, dude. You got a nine-month-old baby in there. Why not, like Tim says, just pull the baby out? Like, I don't know, put it up for adoption or something. Why you gotta kill it? Why? It could survive. But this is, I don't know, the culture wars, you know? That's what it is. And it's, like, gets ugly. It gets ugly. And this gets testy. Tim usually kind of, like, I, would, I wouldn't say he loses his temper, but he's like, come on, bullshit, dude, don't fuck with me. Join this country, put limits at around, like, 15 to 16 weeks. Meaning, if the baby is dependent upon the body of the mother, then it is the body of the mother and she has final say. If the baby is viable, it can be removed in, in a process that ends the pregnancy but doesn't end the life of the baby. That's kind of like the compromise where the baby gets to live, and the woman no longer has to be pregnant. Yeah, and who would have an objection to that, Tim? Fucking no reasonable person, for sure. No, <laughs> like most reasonable people would be like, yeah, that sounds like a good compromise of why kill the kid if it could survive. Because the mother doesn't want it. It's like, huh, okay, well fine, put the baby up for adoption. No, it's about autonomy. No, at that point, it's all, like, it's murder. That's the argument, that you're talking about murder. You're not talking about... But, until that, I mean, I don't know, man. This is the evil shit that we to fucking have to this make these arguments about. Amoral argument where, well, but it just killed immoral, baby anyway, amoral, which doesn't yeah, make any logical sense. That's the pro-abortion side. So if you go back to the 90s, if you go back to safe, legal, rare, etc., if you even look at Tulsi Gabbard in 2020, that's where I'm at. Conservatives are pro-life outright. Seamus would, would argue abortion in any capacity should be banned entirely. I'm in the traditional Democrat position, but you see, there is a tribal... Yeah, safe, legal, and rare. I don't know, dude. That's not the Democratic Party's position. That's not the left's position. The left increasingly is just like every position they take is just like satanic. It's just like evil. And just like not like uh, what are they doing? Like at some point you have to stop thinking this is just stupidity and it's more malice. And then you get inside the worldview of these people and it's like, yeah, dude, it's totally malice. It's totally malice. They hate all these institutions. They hate humanity. These are like anti, it's like an anti-human movement. Like literally with their climate change and all this shit. It's like anti-human. 
yeah, sterilize yourself and kill your children, you know, uh, you know, get an abortion. Late term, does it matter? It's all about you, you, you. It's like these people increasingly sound like fucking Satan. And they do. And that's what my channel's about. Amoral, illogical. I hope you it's like a, just let them <laughs> entertaining the somebody. I don't, I don't see any logic there. I, I don't see how that makes sense morally or ethically or, or you, just mathematically. Right. So you said I'm pro abortion. What I'm against is forced birth. And I don't think the state should be forced. I like the smug look on his face. Smug people. Forced birth. Okay, well, you can, like, end the... You don't You don't have to kill anything. But whatever. These are the immoral people. Like, women to give birth like, against their will. Which is what your position, at a wall. Your position is. So, so, so I'm, I'm against that. I, 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 think, I, that's, I, I think that's I, I agree. government shit. I, I right. don't think they should be forcing them and, and turning completely them into agree. these viable wounds I against their will. I, I completely yeah. agree. I'm against forced birth, just like you. Cool. Except my difference is that if the Tim babies in eight Look months can survive, they can take the baby out as if they would have an abortion, but not kill it in the process. If it's a viable at eight yep. months, is it, yep. is it viable? Yes, it is. Yes, it is viable. At wow, this dude doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Is a is a baby in the womb viable at eight months? Yeah, dude, that baby could survive when taken out. Why kill it? Why? Like, it's just it's evil, dude. It's fucking evil. I'm not gonna mince words about it. That's what it fucking is. But listen, it's always instructive to hear the enemy speak. Eight months, dude. There have been babies six. after 20 after weeks. Bro, your whole 20, position after, yeah. is that women have a right to kill the baby even if they end the pregnancy, look, and there's no logic there. The, the logic is that I don't think you you agree with forced birth at a point. How? I, I, how? At eight I months? Don't. At eight months, Tim Pool thinks forced birth is fucking cool and poggy. Stop I, making I, up I, stupid bullshit. But I, 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 no, 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 a woman could be able to end a pregnancy whenever she wants. Me up to eight a woman could end her pregnancy whenever she wants. Say it. Tim Pool said a woman can end her pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, but they don't have to kill the baby if it's viable. That's what Tim Pool is saying. And like Tim is like, this is testy, dude. Like, I mean, I've I watched this. I I don't know why the hell I didn't make a video on it. I just figured I'll make something before I you know start my day. And I was like, yeah, this was really great. So <laughs> whenever she wants. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 because make up something fake. <laughs> Tim Pool agrees with forced birth is a false statement. You're lying. I have already no, said. No, it's a manipulation of language. And if you notice when you talk to these people, a lot of times you get confused because you don't understand the language they're using. Forced birth. Like, think of that. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Again, the the enemy, these Marxist like language is very important to them, and it's also used as a, like a tool to manipulate. And confuse and obfuscate. So Tim latches onto this because he sees these Marxists, these snakes for what they are. First, forced birth. Shut the fuck up. You don't have to kill the child. You do not have to, like, the child is viable. I don't know. Tim, like, really nailed it here. I believe that women have a right to Which terminate their pregnancy for a short amount of time. And eight months after that, no, I listen to him yes, every day for no, years. I, I, I used to not well. like Tim. Like, the moment, like, I was leaving the left and, like, all these fucking Facebook pages I admined and this nonprofit 501c3 that I was involved with, I was like, y'all are a bunch of goddamn Nazis. And it was around the time Occupy Wall Street was coming up, and I was like, I was looking at Occupy Wall Street, and I was, like, listening to Mr. Medicare, like, criticize it. And I was like, that was the first, or, internet aristocrat it was like dude i am so done with the fucking left this occupy wall street and at first i was like cheer i was like happy i was like cool occupy wall street i was like look at this this is like i'm proud of these people and then i started looking into it and the social cancer there was <laughs> and the progressive stack and all that shit and then like i remember at that same time as i was like leaving the left and rejecting occupy wall street i just remember seeing tim always reporting on Occupy Wall Street and always kind of being positive about it. And I was like, fuck this guy. I didn't know, like, not shortly after that. I've been listening to this dude for, like, years, dude. Like, a long ass time. Like, since before he got big on Joe Rogan's podcast where he went there and talked, roasted the CEO of Twitter and uh, his or trust and safety, whoever, I forgot her name, Majali or whatever. Like, I've been listening to him forever. But when I first saw it, I was like, Fuck Occupy Wall Street and fuck you, Tim. But like Tim is a great guy. He makes great arguments and I don't know. I I listen to the dude like Monday through Friday, without fail, all the shows, like and um 
I don't know. It's just funny how influential he's become. And when I first saw him or heard of him, I was like, fuck Occupy Wall Street. Fuck this dude. Fuck you, Tim. But now, Liable, look, but she look shouldn't at have me the today. right to be able to terminate it. To right? kill the baby. Yes. yes. I said she can yes. end the pregnancy whenever she wants. And ending the pregnancy can be giving birth or aborting or the baby. Or a C-section that keeps oh, the baby so she alive. Has to, she has to be forced to, to give birth against uh, her will in so, a C-section, but the baby is viable and they give it so all. So how, right? how do they remove so the baby? So hold on, either way, the baby comes out of her. You're saying right, so, that so you literally literally Why does the baby have to die? Why? Because these people kill, kill, kill. The enemy, I hate these people. They should use the tools to rip apart the body and pull that out. Whereas I'm saying they should just take no, the baby I'm saying out. she should have the right to decide what happens to her body. That's it. Okay, but I, so if, all right, either way the child is coming out. You're making this argument about forced birth. Either way, what is in her body is going to be outside of it. The question is, is it okay to shove forceps into the skull of the small person who's inside of her and then tear them apart? With I like how graphic he gets with it. <laughs> or could we just take the baby out and let it live and be like, oh, get that baby a pacifier. You know, what do you think? I mean, this isn't, like, fucking rocket science. I mean, do you have any morals? Do you have any fucking, like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? The left. What is wrong with the left? There's so much fucking wrong with the left. I hate these people. And it's like, I like how Seamus is just so like, graphically brutal. He's like, well, 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 stick a fork in his head. Continue, Respect. Seamus. Either way, Thank you, what sir. is in her body is going to be outside of it. The question is, is it okay to shove forceps into the skull of the small person who's inside of her and then tear them apart limb by limb to get them out? Or should we say, no, that's not an acceptable way of delivering a baby. You shouldn't kill that unborn child. How is that for either way it comes out of her body? Either way the child comes out of her body. It's not as if there's one scenario but, and, and where the for, pregnancy but, but, magically but, disappears and, 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 and let me add so right. forced birth is a nonsense plot policy yeah, statement. But, but yeah, but in your scenario... Yeah, thank you, Tim. It's language they use that doesn't mean anything. It's a smoke screen. They just throw out a smoke screen and they're like, oh, look at that. Forced birth. Get the fuck out of here. But this is the enemy. And like I said in my other videos, it's like language is very important to these people. They weaponize language. They make they they murder language. They do. They murder language, make it meaningless, and just they use these phrases that don't really mean anything. It's important to understand like kind of what they're trying to get at. But it's also important to understand that it's all just bullshit. These people have nothing to say. You don't really is being forced to give birth against her will. Like she can't she's decide. already pregnant, dude. I know, but yeah. we're not talking about just forcing her to do anything. She's endorse, pregnant. But then endorse that position. I so did. Stick, stick by it. I know, I you, reject you, the There's no such thing as like, forced I don't, birth I don't, saying I don't, you can't kill that here, baby. Here, let me, let me but, tell you how fascinating so, this is. Because she the has left the baby is better. so yes, she does. perfect yeah, about better. legalizing the killing of a baby at nine months that I can sit here and say, I think women should be able to terminate their pregnancy whenever they want, but if the baby is viable, there's no reason to has She has to be forced to give it then. She has to be forced to give birth and then give the baby up, is what you're saying. Give and birth. Yes. Define. Yes. Okay, so so that is forced birth, yeah, right? Define. So, so, so she, so she can't decide to terminate it eight or nine months. Define give birth. You just said at eight months if the baby is viable. I didn't say she... eight months. Define give birth. I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're saying by forced birth. What, is, what does birth mean? You just said when she is at eight or nine months. Okay, so she's at eight or nine. I said viable. Okay, so it's yeah, viable. taking you down the Socratic method of your own bullshit, dude. Of your own bullshit. Great job, Tim. Like, yeah, define these terms. Definitions. On the table. Now. Explain yourself. Objection. Irrelevant. Objection. Non sequitur. Yeah. Get him, Tim. The baby's viable. She should have to give birth to it in some capacity. C-section, whatever. Define birth. And I can answer your yeah. question. Birth. The, Look at this the, fucking face. Re the removal of a child into the world from a mother's womb. If the ba So how do they do that? Uh, the woman pushes the baby out. So then what would you call an, an abortion at eight months? Is the woman, abortion. Is the woman pushing the baby out? No, it's most likely a medical procedure done by a doctor. And what is that medical procedure? An abortion. Like, uh, what? Yeah, what is that? Uh, yeah, explain yourself. Continue. Yes, take him down the Socratic method of what it means to have an evil thought. <laughs> like, is that? What is an abortion? Yes. Like, what? How, what? how is it done? Yes. I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how it's done in eight months. I know, I know, to, earlier, I know to... earlier on. I know how it's done. done the... Seamus just told you how it's done, dude. Seamus just fucking explained it to all of us. This is ridiculous, dude. These fucking evil people. A series of you're, tools. You're I, I don't know how it's done in data. Okay, so, so your moral argument is forced birth. I'm trying to understand what your position is. If you don't know how an abortion is done, mm -hmm. then are you in favor of forced birth? 
Am I in favor of forced birth? No, I'm against well, forced birth. But you think that women should have to expel the baby, right? It's, it's completely fine for me not to know the medical procedure of how abortion is done to stand up for the rights of a woman's body. I, I don't need to know how people perform abortions directly. But, but remove, I, I'm remove, not going to lie here. I'm not going to... Uh, semantics. Semantics and games. Semantics and games. <laughs> it's the silver tongue of a devil. Yeah, dude. We know what you're saying. Like, it's just you don't actually want to say it. You don't actually want to talk about the evil deed that you're promoting. And Removing a baby from a woman's body is birth. Oh, so you're, you're saying it doesn't count? It, no, 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 it's I'm birth to... of a different... Of no, different get I the definitions down. What is a birth? Removing a baby from a woman's body. Why you gotta kill it? Why? Why? It's viable. I think you have a definition, and I'm trying to understand what you mean by forced birth, but if you can't define the removal of the baby in a different way, I don't know what you're saying. Birth. Birth, Tim. Like the birth so of a is, child. So is a C-section a birth? Uh, sure. Yes, it, it is a form of, of extracting the living child uh, that is viable to live in the real world. That's how you define birth. Extracting a living child to live in the real world. No, I would divine birth as someone giving birth. They are pushing the baby uh -huh. out of their body. Uh -huh. so, so, right, so I don't Get think it? women should be forced to... Huh? Huh? So, like, yeah, logically, look at what the fuck... And these people aren't logical. These people are fucked. 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 And this is just a great example of it. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. I should have made this video four weeks ago or whenever yeah, right. this came out. Yeah, you don't think women should be forced week. to push babies out of their body? But the baby is in their body, so it's got to come out somehow. So you're going to take it out with a C-section? No, I, I don't know. Okay. But, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what you mean by this. So that would be forced birth. So She's forced to give a, and make a child, a viable child, live in the real world. I mean, right, right, so when you're viable. pregnant, the baby's yeah. going to come out of you yeah. at some point. That, that's Either we rip no it apart what or you happens, give birth naturally. The baby is coming out of the woman, right? Yeah. Yes. So okay. there's, 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 no, there's no being in favor of that or not. It happens, period. Yes. Okay, so what's your point? What's my point? Am I in favor of a natural process by which a woman has to have a baby removed from her no matter what anyone does, says or does? Your point is that at eight or nine months, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, Tim. You are wrong. Yes, I'll stop you right there. I never, because, <laughs> because when you keep saying eight or nine months, that's not what I said over and over and over again. Viability is after six months. Vi so viability six months. is... Okay, okay. That means that there's so more... Before that, dude, like, there's been, like, viable babies at, like, 26. Like, it's not... How many months would that be, though? I don't, I don't know. So You're also wrong. It's not six months. So as soon as the baby is... It's not six months. So as soon as, as, soon as the baby is viable, weeks. Tim, as soon as the baby is viable, then it's okay... For the woman, even if she doesn't want to have it anymore for whatever reason, she should have to be forced to have it extracted from her and, and then live. Is that correct? Is that your position? Yes. To do otherwise would be murder. That's the argument. That's the pro-life. Yes. Essentially. I, well, it's not forcing the woman to have a baby live if the baby's already alive. You see what I'm saying? Like, you right, can, so, so you're, you're, okay, so you're here's a com some, I gotta, I gotta, semantics. This I gotta compromise semantics. for you. I gotta compromise sure. for you. Yes, we'll tell it the is. mother we killed it, but we'll sneak it off and give it to someone else. Does that work for you? No, because I still think she should have autonomy. She should have the right to do it if she wants to. <laughs> of course. She should kill the baby out she's already should. born? I don't want her to play anytime. Yeah, it's murder. <laughs> To kill a baby. I want then her why to have, I, saying it? because I want her to have the ability to choose. That's different, and that is a fundamental you part just, of this. The baby's out of her body, right? Forcibly. In no, your no, 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 no. Of say, course, let's, let's of course. Say, let's say twenty-four weeks. So dense, so dense. Oh my God! Like screaming at a wall, Tim. You're screaming at a wall. You know this. You're not going anywhere. This is like just painful to watch. Doctor and says, "I want this baby out of me." And the doctor, what, what if she says, I don't want to have this baby? I don't, I don't want to have this baby. Okay. Okay. And the doctor says, I will remove it. Okay. Uh-oh, the baby's alive. What do we do? So you forced her to give birth? No, 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 no. She said, doctor, I'd like an abortion. He says, you got it. Step and so right he's, up. he's lying to her. No, no, no. He does the abortion and it fails. And an the baby abo an abortion is terminating a pregnancy. So, so there's no exactly. suspe there's no That's the same thing, right? The pregnancy is over. The baby's out. It's just not dead. It's going to, uh, I don't know, a, a foster family or something. It's going to be adopted. What's wrong with that? There's so much wrong with these people. That's for sure. It's a trick abortion. You can't no, trick they're called failed abortions. Failed abortions? Yes. Where doctors... The baby like, survives. Trick right. women into no, taking the no, babies No, 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 no. So when they perform the abortion, as Seamus explained, they stick metal tools into the brain, scramble it up, and rip its body parts apart, okay. and then pull it out chunk by chunk. Okay. When the babies are smaller, sometimes they pull it's them out, but the graphic. babies don't die. They survive, mm -hmm. right? So my question is, in the instance of a failed abortion, what should be done? 
a failed abortion being that the the child is living it's yes. outside of the mother yeah at that point you cannot kill that child that would be murder oh, okay but why do you think that why like what's the difference i hate these people dude i fucking hate them agreed on that point right yeah so then where does the mother's choice come and they in hate little babies and they hate you and they fucking yeah i hate so these people she she has a choice to choose what she wants to have done with her body yeah you're just a broken record that doesn't make any sense or have any logic or any morality yeah typical what you can expect from these fucking people if, if, if she goes to a doctor thanks for coming on the like, show and exposing it but like which the assumption would be that i'm about to terminate the child but then he just secretly sneaks the child out of there that's not performing an abortion you're, you're just being deceptive yeah and the doctor would should go to prison if they did something like that in my opinion i well, think you go to prison if you should go to prison if he performs an abortion <sighs> snap <laughs> Shameless, yeah. the opposite right. perspective. Uh, so there's also something that none of us know because i don't know. think any of us are medical doctors the uh, the difference on the physiology of the female body uh giving a nine-month abortion having that happen or the actual birthing process whether by c-section or natural birth uh it might have vastly different consequences on the female body so that's something to take into oh, account. Oh, so, well, so wait, wait, wait. Remember the Born Alive Act? Yes. That was a Republican position, wasn't it? What was, yeah, what was well, that? Yeah, so th there have been a couple of different Born Alive Acts in different years. But what they basically say is that if the abortion fails, it is not legal to kill the child. Sounds reasonable. Wasn't that, wasn't that Republicans were know. trying to pass the law? Republicans were trying to pass that. That was one of the only things Obama <laughs> voted on in the Senate. He voted against it. Really? Obama voted against it. Against it. But yes. you would be in favor of that. In favor of what? The Born Alive Act. I'm not completely familiar with it, so I don't uh, If an it infant first. is born alive after an attempted abortion, mm -hmm. it has the same protection of law and degree as a newborn. Um, yeah, I would be okay with that because at that point it's, it's a, an it's American a, it's a citizen. Human. You're killing the person that is alive. Yeah, um, an American citizen that has all rights that should, I don't mean. I imagine this happened after that doctor somewhere in like New England. What was that doctor's name? Everyone should know his name, dude. He's like murdering babies after they're born and shit. That's what I don't really know. I imagine that's the case, though. That was like, what, 2010 or maybe earlier? I don't, I don't fucking remember. That motherfucker, he went to prison. And it didn't get as much coverage as it deserved, obviously, because it was like an abortion trial. What the hell is that doctor's name, dude? They made a movie about it. That no one watches. Like it's like it's not a like a big holly. Um. Anyway, whatever. Um. So anyway, I I don't know. I I gotta fucking get ready and, and I gotta go to work. It's Saturday. It's probably gonna suck, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see if it goes down. Um. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. I uh, I don't know, dude. I just make videos and. I never know what I'm going to make a video about. I was just sitting here and I was like, wouldn't be a good thing. Oh, I remember this motherfucker coming on Tim's cast and it was pretty interesting. So, and everyone made videos about it. I should have made a video about it like last month, but I didn't. So here you go. Fuck Lance from the surfs and his immoral, like, I don't know, Satan. These people are Satan. This is the enemy. And it's interesting to hear them, you know, pontificate on their bullshit. And you've seen, like, how language is important to him. And language to these people, like, when they use words and they try to confuse you, like, understand, like, try to understand what they're getting at because it's, like, useful to combat. But, like, also understand, like, these people aren't saying anything. These people are full of shit. <laughs> like, this is not... They, they literally, like, what... Forced birth? Okay, like, uh, let's dive into that. What do, what do you mean by that, sir? And it's just bullshit. It's just manipulative. And so that's exhibit A. And that being said, I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.